Hello guys, this is Harika. So today I'm going to explain how we can develop applications using UiPath apps. This is very new and cool feature that I have come across recently. So in this, as a part of this demo, I have taken a very small application where uh, the user can come online and he can order a book at just one click. So this is how the application looks like once after we develop. So here the user would be entering the book name and he can go ahead and place the order as a confirmation he can see a message here so let's do that with one example so this is the book name i wanted to order and i'll click on place order And here you can see the confirmation message saying your order is confirmed for the book name, the diary of the angle. And I'll go and order one more book. Let's say Harry Potter. And then place order. And here you can see the result. So let's see how we can do that right from the beginning. So first of all, you have to create an app. demo order and then create so once after you create it you will get this window and then now let's see what all we need as a part of this application so this is one label and this is one image and this is also a label text box button and a label and so first i'm going to take this label so I wanted to add a new control, let's say label, and I've got it here. Just drag and drop it over here and you can change. I wanted it to be in the center. So you can go to style and change it to the center. And then after which I want to have an image as a logo for my application. So I'm gonna go to image and then pull it over here. So let's say I have to add, I should add it here. And in general, you can find out you have an, you, you can give URL or you can just drag and drop the image if you have it in your local. So I have done this way where I have the book image and it will get loaded. Once after it gets loaded, you have to double click it. So this will be moved into your image. So just double click this. And the image is getting binded here. And here we go. This is how it appears. And now you have to change the properties of this. Do it as per the, how you want it to be fit in your application. So let's first of all, let's expand this a bit. And now I will change the pixel size of the image. Let's say 500 width and height is 400. Cool. And I want this to be in the center. And now I want to change the label name. So let's go to general. And here I wanted to give a different name. Let's say what I've given here, order a book online at one click. So you have options here to change the font style. I wanted to add here, not exactly like this, like the book name. I wanted to have a book name just beside the label. So let's see how we can do that in a different way. So let's say I will take a container. And then I'm going to pull it here. And let's say I want this to be horizontal. I've selected horizontal and here I'm gonna add a new control, which is a label. And I will add inside this. And if you see here in the tree, the label is added inside the container. 
and after which I want my text box to be taken. Let's add the label for this. Let's say it's a book name. I wanted to take it. And again, beside the book name, I wanted to add a text box, but I want it just beside. So which you have to take a container and it has to be aligned horizontally only then you can do that and here we have different formats where you can align you can take it to the center you can align it and i feel for me this looks good so i'm preferring this you can add a hint text saying that enter the book name here so that it appears here you can change the size of this by just changing these values. Height seems to be fine for me and then I'm going to change the width. Let's check this. So this looks fine. And after that, I wanted to add a button as per my application. I'll say place order button. So I'm gonna pull a container here and then I'm gonna add a button and i wanted to invest a little creativity over here let's say if i wanted to add an icon let's say i'm going to icon and i will say i'll just pull this out okay before to that this is inside a con container okay this is not inside a container because you can see it over here this should be brought inside a container okay so i've got my button inside the container and i would say it in a horizontal mode because i want an icon to be displayed here next to which so that's where i am going to take an icon and that should be next to this i wanted to pull it here so again, you can check for the alignment in this way. This is cool. Or yeah, this is cool. So in this button, I would mention, you can just change the name on this to place order. I'm gonna use a text box again and pull it down here. I'm going to change the parameters of this box alone with this text box alone to I'm quite good with the height. So let's change the width of this to some 600 so that even though if the book name is large, that can be appeared over here. So let's say this is how I have done my app. So let's take the preview of this and see how it will appear. And this is how it looks and I don't want this to be an editable one. So let's go here and change this to the properties of this to disabled so that it will not be editable. Let's preview this. So you can see this is not editable and this you can edit. So that's how it is. Let me just show you the workflow. So I have taken whatever the book name provided by the user as the input argument. And then the output response small implementation. So where I have taken your order is confirmed for the book named and the book name provided by the user which changes dynamically. And that is provided as an output argument from my workflow. So once after this is done, you can just publish it and take it in your orchestrator. So once after your workflow is there in orchestrator, the other main crucial part is to link the workflow from orchestrator. So let's say I have to add a process to this app. And from here you can connect to your orchestrator and then next here you will get all the projects processes that are there in your orchestrator and the process which I have published from my orchestrator is digital library. So let's check this and select. After which you have to bind the values here. So let's say I wanted to get 
So let's say whatever the book name entered by the user has to be binded to book name argument. So I'm going to double click this and that's how we can bind it. And then place order is something which has to trigger the orchestrator. So that's where I'm going to the events and here I'm creating a rule saying that start the process. And here I have to give the output to. So I have to bind that particular output response here. So this is how it will be. And now we have binded the arguments from orchestrator to our app. So let's see, let's preview this. And say I wanted to order a book with name Harry Potter, like which we have tested it ahead. And then you can see your order is confirmed for the book named Harry Potter. So that's how you can check for any book name if you want that would be this is just a toast something like a toast message which would appear for your confirmation so that's all guys this is just a small example which where you can develop the apps so if you're also interested or curious to learn more you can explore we have many options here so you can go through and thank you so much for watching and if you really like it give a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you